Welcome back, this is Rito here, and today I wanted to show how to download mods now that Terraria has been updated to 1.4. And right off the bat, I want to mention this is not going to allow you to play 1.4 with mods, but this will allow you to play 1.3.5. The way you do it is you go to the Steam store right up here, and then you're going to go ahead and type in Tmod Loader into the store search, and you're going to go ahead and click on Tmod Loader. It will bring up this page right here, and this is where you can download Tmod Loader. All you need to do is scroll down right here, and it says install Tmod Loader free Terraria mod. And so what you're going to do is just click install now. It just shows the space required, space available, all that sort of stuff. So I'm just going to install it under my C drive in the Steam folder. So let's go ahead and click next and agree to the terms. The download just finished, so let's go ahead and go to our library, and here we go. We've got Tmod Loader right here. All we need to do is press play, and after a couple seconds, the game is loading, and there we go. We've got this awesome icon for Tmod Loader now, and you can see it's already initializing all of the different mods that I've got installed. It is nice to see the mods loading. It's been a while since I've played modded. I've been doing 1.4 stuff, exclusively since it came out, but I've really wanted to get back into modded Terraria. At the very bottom, you can see the Terraria version is version 1.3.5.3. Tmod Loader will eventually be updated to allow for playing 1.4, but that's probably going to take a while, so we're just going to have to wait until Tmod Loader updates. But until then, we can still play our mods in the 1.3.5 version of Terraria, which I think is amazing. If you're familiar with Tmod Loader, this will be a very familiar site. You've got mods and you've got mod browser. But if you haven't used this before, the way you're going to install mods is you're going to click on mod browser right here. And this is going to load all the different mods. And then you can search your mods up here. So let's go ahead and search like Thorium. That's a popular mod. And you can see we can download Thorium right there. And then this button right here allows you to update all of the mods that you do have installed. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it looks like I've got a few updates to install because I haven't played for a while. And for those who haven't played modded Terraria, it may be a little bit jarring the first time you play because when you go to select your characters and your worlds, you're not going to see the normal vanilla characters and worlds. But they are still there when you play vanilla Terraria, so you just need to go back to your Steam and open up vanilla Terraria and you'll see all of your characters and worlds. So they're not gone, they're just in a different folder. You can move them in between folders, and I can show you that a little bit later in the video. But I will advise you not to do that with 1.4 content. You don't want to bring that into Tmod Loader right now since Tmod Loader is not updated to 1.4. So there could be pretty bad side effects if you try doing that. So once when you've downloaded a few mods, you can go here to see the ones that you have downloaded. So these are the ones that I use generally. I have the Calamity mod, the Calamity Music mod, the Alchemist NPC Light, Recipe Browser, No More Tombs, Friendly NPCs Don't Die, Boss Checklist, Max Stack Plus, Vein Miner, Weapons Out, Louis AFK. Those are all of my favorite mods. I'll probably add a few to my next Let's Play series that I do as modded, like maybe Magic Storage and a few other things people have requested. But you can enable and disable the mods right here. And then all you need to do is click Reload Mods, and it will take those effects. Another thing to note is that you can adjust your configurations in this menu as well. You just have to click this little gear icon, and then you can change different things about your different mods. So I loaded up Magnus and his tower, and it feels great to be back in the original Magnus world with all of his amazing weapons like Eternity and the Dance of Light. I haven't noticed any issues with frame rate or anything like that. I do want to show you a couple things really quickly. If you go to the settings, you can go to mod configuration. That's something that Tmod Loader adds. So if you click on that, you'll be able to access all of the configurations for the different mods that have those. So this is the same configuration that I showed you just before. So you can access that in game, which is nice. Another thing I wanted to check on is if there's a lot of lag or anything playing with Tmod Loader from Steam. And so far, it doesn't look like there is any. This feels exactly like it did before I installed 1.4, so I'm very happy. Just a lot easier to install and everything. The frame rate is feeling great. I'm not seeing any lag or any issues. Things are moving fast. So I'm very happy with the Tmod loader that has been added to Steam. 
If you go back to the page where you downloaded Tmod Loader and you scroll down, there's a really good FAQ page right here, which talks about some of the things I've already touched on, um, like that this is not a 1.4 version of the game, but that will be added at a later date. I also wanted to mention there is a 64-bit variant of Tmod Loader that can be installed separately if you do a manual install, and you'll just use the same Tmod Loader folder. I have read some forms and stuff, and it seems like some people have been having issues with it, so it's not something that I'm probably going to do, but if you're comfortable with doing that, then you can try it out and see if you have luck with it. I'm probably just going to wait for them to offer 64-bit through Steam before I download it, just to keep things simple. One of the last things I wanted to show is how to access your world and character files, because when you're switching between modded and not modded, that is a helpful thing to know about. And it's also good to be able to make backups of your characters and your files and your worlds and all that. All you need to do is go to your My Documents, My Games, and then click on Terraria. And you'll see right here you've got the worlds, players, captures, all that sort of stuff for vanilla Terraria. And then you've got this mod loader folder. So this will contain the same stuff. It'll also contain your mods, mod sources, and mod configs. You'll also have your captures from modded Terraria and your players and worlds from modded Terraria. If you do have a compatible like 1.3.5 world or player that you want to bring into Tmod Loader, you can just go ahead and drag and drop it into these folders right here. So it's good to know where your files are located. And then if you ever want to get a backup of these, you can copy your players and world folders into a different folder and just have a backup of it. And that's always good to do just in case something happens with your computer. And that concludes our video showing how to download and play Tmod Loader after the 1.4 update was installed. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm also posting lots of other 1.4 videos showcasing all of the new content. And I'm doing a Journey's End Master Mode playthrough as a Melee class. So be sure to check those out if you're interested. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.